Is it not your birthday? Somebody definitely told me it was your birthday. Well, anyways, you definitely know somebody's birthday that is coming up soon. And what do you get your friends for their birthday? I get my friends for their birthday this adorable, fun, surprise pop-out card that they absolutely love. Today, we are going to be going step-by-step -step through this card and we are going to make it together. Make sure to like and subscribe not to miss any awesome crafts. You are not going to believe how easy this craft actually is. All you're going to need is an assortment of paper, scissors, glue, crayons or markers, Stickers if you want to really jazz it up. A bow to make the gift extra special. And a ruler if you are the measuring type. Just a warning, once you do one pop-up, you just can't stop. They are so much fun. So the rule for pop-ups is you take the paper and you fold it beautifully in half. Connect the corners and you make a nice line. You can even press it down with your nail. It doesn't have to be exact exact. It's okay. And then we are going to cut two slits into the paper. So we're going to cut them right over here. I just sometimes cut straight into it but if you're the measuring type and you're like please please give me a measurement I'm going to give that to you right now. So you are going to cut approximately three inches on both sides and leaving approximately three inches in between both cuts. That was too complicated, don't worry. I'm gonna do it and show it so you could just follow along. So right here, two cuts just like this. See, the paper is wiggling like that. Now we are going to open up the paper, but this does not look like a pop-up at all. What is going on? So I'm going to take my finger, go behind it, and I'm going to pop it out. You stay right there. It's not staying there. I'm going to pull it out and fold it over. <gasps> wow. Oh, surprise. So this can turn into so many different things, but today, we are making this as a card for your friend's birthday. So we're turning it into a present box. Mm, I could color this as a present, but I want it to really be exciting and pop. So we have here some really exciting paper. I'm going to choose this super colorful paper and I am going to cover my present box. So I'm going to measure it. Mm, how big is this? I'm just going to kind of measure. If it's too big, I could always trim. If it's too short, I can add. Let's see if this works. I'm going to put this on top. This looks fantastic. I'm going to take this paper. I'm going to fold it in half. Let's see. Does it fit on top? Wow. OK, that was a really lucky first try. Mm, actually, we're going to trim it a tiny drop, just like that. We want it to stay, so we are going to apply the glue. I'm going to put the glue all over the pop-up, nowhere else. Only the part that is popping out. I'm putting it over here. I want it to stick really well. Press it down. Iron it out with your finger. <gasps> Adorable. It's getting closer, but it's not there yet. I'm going to add to it those little ribbons. You could either do it with a regular ribbon. I'm going to do it just with a regular paper. I'm going to cut a thin strip, just like that. Now I'm going to glue it this way and the opposite way to look like a real gift. Your friends are going to be like, what? How is a real present popping out from a card? Okay, let's glue it on. Oh, 
both ways. We're going to go this way. Now the opposite way. I'm going to cut off any extra paper that there is. Now, the best part is when you use your imagination to do what you think is best. So, you can add a fluffy bow, you could add a really flat bow, so it actually closes perfectly. I'm gonna, mm, let me decide, do I want this type of floppy bow today? Mm, I kind of want mine to close all the way, so it really is a surprise that it pops out. Here I have a strip of paper. I am going to double it over, tape the bottom. Now I'm going to put a little stripe on top so it looks like a real bow. Let's tape that. You can either, you can either staple it together or just put a paper. And to make it look more realistic. See how I'm putting my fingers in it and popping it out so it's real nice and loopy. I'm going to glue it to the top. <gasps> how adorable. It is really, really coming to life. This is so, so adorable. But seriously, you cannot have a birthday card without a message. We are going to write happy birthday. Sometimes I do happy birthday in markers. Sometimes I do it in stickers. Today I actually can't decide, so we're going to do a combo of the two. Here we go. When I want to write nice and even, my little trick is I see which letter is in the middle. Like for example, the P in happy birthday, and then I continue from there. Oh my gosh, they are just going to love this. Little circles on the top to add that little extra spunk. And now for birthday, D. These are just the cutest stickers. You know your friend or mom or dad is just going to love this. We want to make it even a bigger surprise. And when they see this cutout, they're going to be like, hmm, something's fishy, something's going on. We want to make it look like just an ordinary card. So we're going to cover it with a bigger piece of paper. So I'm going to glue it down over here. I'm not gluing the pop-up part. I want the pop-up part not sticking. I want it really, really popping up. Uh, I just love pop-ups. I have a pop-up for every single occasion. They even call me the pop-up princess. This is just too much fun. This glue is not sticking. I'm gonna cut off all the extras. We do not want the extras. We're gonna stick it down. And just like that, sometimes I like to give it to them with nothing on it so it's super discreet. It's like a real surprise. But sometimes I like to put just a little something on the top. Today I'm going to put a little heart. Here we go. I'm going to craft out a little heart. And you can decide already who do you want to give it to. Is it a sister, a brother, a friend, a mom or dad, a grandparent? Just like that. This is gorgeous. Now, oh, simple and beautiful. Now you are gonna stand out because you have the cutest card for your friend or loved one's birthday. But now that I have this card, I wonder who I'm going to give it to. Which one of my friend's birthdays is coming up? Hmm. I think I know just the person. You just made this awesome card and made your friend really happy as well. I hope you enjoyed the video 
and make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome crafts. And you know what? You can comment down below to let me know which craft you want to see next. You're on a roll. Yeah, you're ready to play. You're on a roll. Arts and crafts every day. And if you want to make this world a better place with your art, you're on a roll.